that. No need to fret, no need to frown. Brother Jay owes money all over town. Uh, I owe 15 big ones to Larry and 35 big ones to Fist Face McGee. Well, I'm afraid those don't count. Tell them that. Uh, yes, well, uh, Mrs. Evans, maybe we can pass this loan on your record of employment. Um, how long have you held a full-time job? Well, we all work part-time. I work 25 hours per week. I work 20 hours a week. And I work 15. I work 12. I toil approximately 16 hours a week. <laughs> all added together, that's 88 hours a week. And that's more hours than Johnny Carson works in a whole year. <laughs> well, I hope you're just exercising, man. <laughs> no, no, I, I really would like to help you folks, but the FHA regulations do require full-time employment. Well, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. But you do interpret the rules. Now, full-time employment is defined as 40 hours a week. Between us, we have twice that amount. I don't recall a rule that covers this particular situation. Oh, boy, I'm beginning to feel stress. <laughs> Since there is no rule, that means that you have the power. Well, one could say that, couldn't one? Well, here's five of us saying it now. <laughs> Let's make that six. I'm going to pass this loan as fast as I can. All right. What kind of tension does that release? Racial. But I got a really good one from Good Times. I'm just waiting to upload about... Um, household income they were trying to get approved for a twenty-five thousand dollar house and see sometimes i i don't catch because i don't don't know a lot of these you know shows and the message and i'll just you know i'll be like oh they sound like this is gonna be interesting and i'll hit the record on my phone but um the family was wanted to purchase a twenty-five thousand dollar home right Um, then an FHA loan was at 3%, right? And Michael being the man that just in, in genius that he 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 is or was, uh, you know, the loan officer was calculating, they was at the bank. And Michael said it'll be $750 down payment. And uh, he said, well, who will be the primary uh, loan, uh, responsible for the loan on the house? And Florida said, well, I'm the, the head of a household, but I don't have credit, right? So when I heard her say, I don't have credit, then I started putting record, but I didn't get that part of it. And he said, well, how will you all be um, paying for this house and the down payment? And they said, well, we're all going to uh, pitch in our savings and we, we, have, we have the down payment of $750. And he went on to explain that one of the rules of FHA were that they had to work, or um, someone had to have a full-time job 40 hours a week, right? So Florida was saying, I have 25, and um, JJ said, I had 16, and Thelma's husband said he worked as a cab driver for, I don't know, forgot his hours, right? And then Michael said, I work 12 hours a week. And uh, he said, well, no, I need one person with a full-time job. And Florida said, what about, this is a household um, collaboration. So in total, we work 88 hours a week. So surely that has to qualify. He said, well, um, it's nothing about that. But long story short, right, um, it's called household income or household hours. And that's the same way it works with credit cards, right? Um, you can make $80,000 a year, but if you have someone within the household maybe earning $40,000, then that's $120,000 that you can claim is how household income for your stated income when you apply for credit cards. So this is all the stuff that I'm going to share with you all um, in my book, Credit Rich, right? Why I love credit cards to invest in assets and even real estate versus uh, business loans and even sometimes uh, business lines of credit, right? Because even with business credit cards, those credit cards, some of them, not all of them, not all business card, credit cards are created equal, but you have some of them that will not report on your personal credit report. So when you're dealing with a high credit limit and you're using your credit cards to invest, right, there's debt that's hidden from your personal credit report that will not affect your personal credit card report. And so I'm going to list those credit cards that do not report, right, 
on your personal credit report, all in the book, and the difference of paying your um, statement date versus your balance due date to keep and maintain a, a high credit score, and also things like how to convert uh, credit into um, cash, right? Liquidity does not have to be balance transfer checks all the time, right? Um, but that is one strategy. And how, what type of assets that you can purchase with credit cards? Most people just use credit cards to buy um, the latest clothing trend, to vacation, and to buy liabilities, right? Uh, the latest gadgets, the latest TVs, things that depreciate in value, right? You should be using your credit cards to invest in assets. So $5,000 per month. You only have about $500 in discretionary income which does not leave you a lot of room, which more than likely the bank is gonna probably deny your credit application. But I'm gonna give you one of those credit strategies or credit secrets. Did you know you can use what's called household income? Household income meaning that you can take the combined total or accumulative uh, income of everyone who's living in that household. So on all credit applications, they have what's called your personal income, and then they have what's called the household income. And they actually take a combined average and kind of do whatever calculations they use to help lower your DTI. So you may personally make, let's say, forty-five thousand a year, but within the household, the household does one hundred and ten thousand a year. This is going to increase your odds, increase your chances of getting that credit application approved. So that's extremely important. So now these. Are